Hi, my name is John Curtin. I'm one of the owners here at Albany Distilling. Uh, we're Albany's first distillery since Prohibition, and uh, we make some of the best whiskey in the state. So believe it or not, Albany is one of the oldest cities in the country. Uh, it's also the capital of New York State, incidentally. Originally, it was a Dutch city called Port Orange. When the British took over from the Dutch in the, the mid-18th century, it was changed to, to Albany. Up until really the early part of the, of the 19th century, it was one of the biggest cities in the country. So it has all the attendant history that comes with that. It's a, it's a fascinating city. I, I grew up here, I love it. We're nestled in between the Adirondacks and the Catskills and the Berkshires, so there's plenty to do outside around here. Yeah, overall, it's just a, it's a great spot. My name is Rick Sakari. I'm one of the owners and the COO of Albany Distilling. Uh, so we have a series of whiskey called Ironweed. So we make bourbon, rye, and malt. Uh, the grain is all locally sourced right here in New York State. Uh, so, so Ironweed is the title of a book written by a local author named William Kennedy. It won the Pulitzer Prize and uh, it was made into a film. It was mostly filmed in and around Albany in the mid 80s. Uh, Jack Nicholson, Meryl Streep, and Tom Waits. So it's like a really important part of Albany's sort of cultural history. We as New York State distillers wanted to kind of come up with our own style of whiskey. The nice part about New York especially is that we grow some of the best rye in the world. Um, up until Prohibition, I, I forget the exact number, but something like 80 or 90 percent of the rye in the, in the country came out of New York State. So, because the rye grows really well here and it's plentiful, it's logical for us to make rye whiskey. So as a, as a collective, what we've done Instead of having a Kentucky bourbon trail, we've created what's called an Empire Rye Trail. So you can come to New York and you can go and visit 20 different distilleries that are all making Empire Rye. And because we're using brand new charred barrels, the char is actually has caramelized oak so that the whiskey can go in and out of those staves and bring the caramelized oak into the whiskey. Climate is also very important. Um, you know, you, if, if you have scotch, you know, the climate in Scotland is very damp. You know, the evaporation, you're not going to see a ton of water evaporating into the air, so you might lose a little bit more ethanol as you see the proof change over, you know, four, five, six years, however long the whiskey's aged. In Kentucky, it's incredibly dry, so you're not going to see much ethanol evaporate, but you're going to see some water evaporate. And what's really cool about New York is it gets really cold and it gets really hot. So that big swing in temperature change is going to allow a lot of expansion, a lot of contraction. So as our whiskey is aging for four years in a barrel, four years of in and out of that wood, four years of pulling caramelized oak from the barrel into the whiskey. And again, the climate, in our opinion, is perfect. It's not too dry, it's not too moist. That big temperature swing is really going to allow a really rapid aging. Some of the whiskeys that you're going to see in the Rack House box are our rye whiskey, which is an empire rye, kind of a new, new class of whiskey that uh, New York State distillers have come up with. But the grain bill for this rye whiskey is 75% rye, 25% malted wheat. The, the, the ryes that you see on most back bars or in most liquor stores, they kind of bill themselves as, as these really high rye contents. 95% rye, 5% malted barley. Our rye whiskey, as I said, because it's not 95% rye, but it's 75%, we're backing off that spice a little bit. The reason we chose malted wheat for this whiskey is wheat is a very soft grain. You know, rye has spices, pepper, cinnamon, clove. A lot of times, you know, we introduce rye or, or talk about tasting rye for some customers. And, you know, I get a lot of pushback of, oh, you know, rye is a little bit too spicy for me. Our rye whiskey, because it's balanced with wheat, wheat is a very soft grain. So the rye and the wheat play off of each other really well. So you can get all the interesting flavors from rye whiskey, but it's not gonna overwhelm you. It's not a rye whiskey that's all that intimidating. It's more of a palatable, uh, easy rye to drink. Really the product speaks for itself. Uh, we start from scratch, we don't cut corners. Uh, everything's made in very small batches with meticulous attention to detail. Uh, as a small distillery, especially, we don't have a lot of room for error, so we make sure that every batch we make is, is consistently high quality. Sign up for Rackhouse Whiskey Club and try small distilling.